Exceed is a follow-on project to the Terror Grid, uh, although it is very different in nature in many ways. Uh, the Terror Grid has been an 11-year project providing access primarily to high-performance computing resources and services. Under the Exceed project, we'll expand those set of services to uh, encompass more than just HPC. Exceed will provide access to additional digital services and resources. Uh, under Exceed, we will expand the, uh, the umbrella, if you will, of, of resources and services that will be accessible to researchers uh, around the country and their collaborators internationally. This means uh, shared access to campus level resources, interoperability with other cyber infrastructures, access to data off of instruments, and a whole host of other uh, additional services that will be available to the, to the research community. Really the key element here that we've been going after with Exceed is, is about productivity of, of researchers in conducting their day-to-day -day research. And so just to establish such an environment, a distributed environment with the resources and services accessible to them um, is really a cornerstone of our planning. And you'll note that I didn't say HPC, I didn't say compute resources because for some researchers those are not as relevant as is access to data, as is collaboration tools, as uh, is access to instruments. And so these things are not necessarily HPC resources. Um, they, the, the HPC resources are still critical in general uh, for the success of a lot of the research work. Uh, but the focus of the project is now on user and, and researcher productivity. In order for researchers to be successful in, in their endeavors, uh, they need to be able to, to operate in an environment that has at their disposal all of the resources, services, data, and collaboration tools that they need. Uh, research no longer typically happens in the context of single investigators on a campus somewhere. They're typically collaborating with others at other institutions. They need access not only to resources they have direct control over locally, They'll need access to resources that collaborators have. They'll need access to data sources that are, that are managed by other projects. They'll need access to instruments, and they'll need access to computing resources. The intent with Exceed is to create an environment in which all of these resources and services are available to the researchers, whether they are formally operated by Exceed or not. I myself, and I think the folks who have been involved in the development of this project over the last three years, have really spent a lot of time and a lot of effort in developing a vision for not just providing cycles to, to researchers, but for establishing a, a cyber infrastructure ecosystem. Something that allows us to interoperate with other resources, with other infrastructure providers, and really to, to begin to establish a, uh, an ecosystem in which researchers and educators can be much more productive and can begin to develop new capabilities. Um, a key element of our architectural design is that the project is expected to evolve. Uh, we have not designed a system that will be static for the next five or more years. It's specifically designed and has processes put in place to evolve the, the environment and the system over time as new technologies emerge, as new requirements are understood from the user community, as new communities engage in the, in the project. So what I find most exciting is that we're, we're entering into a time uh, of, of evolving the overall activities that are funded out of OCI and NSF to really allow inclusion of a lot more disciplinary areas and a lot more, uh, a lot more researchers who may not have had easy access to the resources in the past. So new disciplines, new users, um, and, and being able to, to increase productivity overall, I think is really exciting.